So hello, Grace Hill athletes. It's been a wild couple of weeks. On April 5th, I flew out to Dallas, Texas, and from there I drove to Wichita Falls for the first annual Strength Con. I gave two presentations, one on barbell training is big medicine, and I also gave a programming lecture with my friend and co-author on the barbell prescription, Andy Baker. I also sat on a couple of panels, a medical panel with my colleagues Angie Bryant and Dr. Matt Aiken, and on a programming panel with Andy and Matt Reynolds of the Barbell Logic podcast. Speaking of which, I also did a live interview with the Barbell Logic podcast. That's available on iTunes or wherever and also on YouTube. So be sure to check that out. Link down in the doobly-doo. And I did a podcast interview with my friend and colleague, uh, Darren Deaton, Doctor of Physical Therapy for the 40 Fit podcast, and we'll be letting you know when that comes out. So keep your eyes open for that. Really an honor to appear with these amazing people and to be on a program with the likes of Brett McKay of The Art of Manliness, uh, nutritionist Robert Santana, Doctors of Physical Therapy John Patrizzo and Darren Deaton, and Scott Hambrick of The Intellectual Linear Progression. And of course there were training sessions with starting strength coaches and lots of barbecue. Lots of barbecue. If you didn't get to go, you really missed out, but there'll be more. It was an amazing event, so keep your eyes open for future events and make sure you go. So yeah, at StrengthCon, I gave a couple of lectures and I sat on a few panels and connected with all sorts of people, including some of you. And then I drove back to Dallas and I got on a plane and I flew home. I had about 14 hours to chill and repack and take care of some business. And then I got in my car and I drove uh, eight hours each way to Virginia, where I spoke at the Clark County Triad Festival on the benefits of strength training in older adults. Many thanks to the Clark County Sheriff's Office and to starting strength coach John Musser for making this happen. So the irony of all this is that I'm running around the country talking about strength training and for about 10 days, I didn't get to do any strength training. But I did get to spend a lot of time sitting on my ass in planes and in cars and at speakers tables. And before any of this even started, I was dealing with a minor back tweak. So with all the driving and sitting, by the time I was finally done and I got back home, I was really hurting. I mean, my back was really pissed off. And here's the thing I want to talk about today, how I dealt with that. Of course, as soon as I got home, I headed straight for the Tylenol and the aspirin because that's how I deal with any pain that doesn't respond to heroin or oxy. I shouldn't have said that. But here's the thing. I knew it was just mechanical low back pain from a minor tweak and a lot of accumulated fatigue and sitting. And so what I really wanted to do, instead of shooting heroin, was to work out hard. I wanted to do squats and presses and deadlifts because I knew it would make me feel better. And it did. And as both a doctor and a coach, I can tell you this is fundamentally different from the headspace that you see in most people, in most patients, in most doctors. I mean, for a long time, I was part of the problem. I would tell people with minor but aggravating mechanical musculoskeletal low back pain to take it easy and you know not lift heavy stuff. And to be fair, this probably kept some people out of trouble because they were deconditioned and didn't know how to lift heavy stuff. But people who train, and especially people who train heavy with big compound barbell movements for strength, know something special and profound. Movement is medicine for low back pain. As my friend and colleague Darren Deaton likes to say, motion is lotion. And this is something I've seen over and over again in my coaching practice with many, many clients. You can tell people this like I'm telling you, but it's hard to swallow until you've actually experienced it. But I regularly have trainees who come into the gym and say, oh, my back hurts today, or my hip hurts today, or whatever. I can't wait to work out. Because they've learned that it's going to make them feel better. 
And we can talk about the molecular and anatomical and physiological reasons for why this is so, but it really just boils down to this. We're physical creatures and we're made to move, but we live in a world that seems to be designed to make us forget that. And so it becomes easy for us to fall into this vicious cycle where immobility makes us miserable, so we take it easy and we move less, which makes us more miserable, and so on. We repeat as necessary. I spent 10 days being relatively sedentary and immobile while running around the country telling people why they shouldn't be sedentary and immobile. And it made me feel awful. But because of my training, I knew I wasn't broken. I knew that I didn't need pills or heroin or bed rest. My body was telling me that I needed to train. And because of my training, I was able to hear that. Now, just to be clear, I'm not saying that if you've hurt your back that you should immediately go out and lift 200 pounds because that would be stupid, especially if you haven't been training. Of course you should talk to your doctor and if your pain is severe or associated with other symptoms you definitely need to be checked out and make sure that there's not more than you know minor mechanical or musculoskeletal back pain going on I mean don't be dumb the point is that for so many people lack of movement is the cause not the cure of low back pain and other forms of musculoskeletal pain movement is medicine strong medicine Motion is lotion. Grace Deal is brought to you by our awesome patrons on Patreon and by the Intellectual Linear Progression. Just like you need to train your body to stay strong and fit, you need to train your mind to stay sharp. If you're interested in training your mental faculties, go to intellectuallinearprogression.com. Each month, intellectuallinearprogression.com ships books directly to your door and prepares you for your monthly two-hour Socratic discussion. Enter the promo code GRACEDEAL, two words, and get 25% off your first three months. GRACEDEAL is also brought to you by GoIronJoe.com, the delicious pre-workout coffee beverage available in K-Cups for Keurig users. Visit GoIronJoe.com to get your first batch and learn more. we got lots of good stuff headed your way. Thanks for watching. Stay strong and stay healthy.